Good afternoon, it's day five from our lockdown video series of my end. My name is Vanessa Williamson and with Matt, who you've been seeing on camera, I co-own Lotel de Ursa here in Mayenne. So today we have come up from the river valley down here, up into the Chateau of Mayenne. We are currently standing along a curtain wall that's uh, punctuated by huge, big, curved um, tower bases. And once upon a time, there are drawings of Mayenne with wonderful curved towers with um, pointed pepper pot tops on them that ran all the way up along the river. This castle was built to defend. It's purely defensive. And it was here to secure the lands um, of Maine by the eventual Duke of Mayenne, who first appears in around the 1050s. Geoffrey of Mayenne is the first independent Duke of Mayenne who was separate from the region of Maine. He held this in his own right and his father was um, subject to the Lords of Maine and they clawed through cunning and power to secure this and a title for themselves and their family. And they went on to build and to defend and to own this castle then for several hundred years. Geoffrey was a, a rogue character and I laughed when I read about him today because he's a, a tall strapping redhead and he tussled horns with another great redhead of the region, which is not my husband, Matt, but William the Conqueror. William the Conqueror sieged the chateau here in 1064 and there was a mighty battle and he really did not think he could take it. And there's quotes in the primary sources that tell us about how difficult it was that nothing was working. The siege engines weren't working and he didn't think he'd be able to take the chateau until he came up with a cunning plan to throw uh, lit torches over into the timber buildings that would have been all the way through the keep here and set it on fire and the, the men who were defending within those buildings fled and the chateau fell to William. As William secured just about all of Maine as he went on his sieging campaign in the 1060s to subjugate the area, he then used that resource to take with him in 1066 for his invasion of England. So we've got masses of history here. We've got an amazing medieval defensive chateau We've got the grounds, some fantastic archaeology was done here in the 1990s. In the end, it went to three different series of archaeology as they looked because they were so surprised at what they found and they found much, much earlier evidence of the Carolingian building, Carolingian arches, which are all inside this big keep here, which you can see and we'll take you to see when you come and visit us in Mayenne. So it's a beautiful day. Hold forth. We'll be back tomorrow signing off from Mayenne.